going? So first of all, I wanted to show you guys, I cut my hair. It is a little shorter than it used to be. It is about, um, I had it just, I guess a little bit towards my waist, but now it is past my shoulders, a little bit past my shoulders when it's straight. And uh, when it's curly, it is just about to my shoulders. So I wanted to show you guys that I cut my hair. I went to an event yesterday and I was tired of having long hair. So I figured, oh, you know what? I went to a hair salon and I told my hairstylist, you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, my original plan was to actually cut it really, really, really short. I actually had it um, short a couple years ago, probably like a year and a half ago. I cut my hair. I used to have my hair down to my butt and I cut it. I was like, you know what? I'm tired of long hair. I need something new. And I went to the hairstylist and I told her, I want a bob. So that's what she did. She cut my hair to a bob and it took a year and a half to grow to the way that it used to be up until yesterday. And um, yesterday I decided to cut it again. And with that said, I'm doing the hair story tag because I figured, you know, since I'm telling you about my hair, I might as well just tell you the whole story. Okay, first question, what kind of hair were you born with? From the pictures that I have seen when I was born, um, I was born with this dark straight hair, which is kind of odd, believe it or not, I was born with dark straight hair. Question number two, did your hair change as you grew and evolved? Yes. Um, when I was younger, I see the pictures that my hair used to be straight. It's crazy. Um, it was never, never curly up until I came to the United States. Um, I grew up with my aunt and my grandmother, and my grandmother, she did not, my grandmother's Chinese, so she was Chinese. So um, she would try her best to do my hair for school, like to get it ready for school. And she wasn't, I guess it, was, it wasn't straight, like straight, you know, but it was wavy. It wasn't curly as I have it now, but it was just, you know, compared to how I have it now, it was straight. Anyway, so she would go and as soon as I would like, you know, get ready for school in the morning, um, she would sit me down in the bed and with like a comb, uh, a wide tooth comb, she would go and she would like dry comb my hair and it would pull my hair so much. It would hurt so much, but she didn't know, like, I mean, you know, she's Chinese, straight from China. She didn't know any other hair than her, her kids, which had straight hair. And here I am, her, grand, her, her granddaughter with curly hair or wavy hair. And she's like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> so um, this was when I was younger. And then the years kept going and I still had wavy hair up until I came to the United States. For some reason, I don't know. For some reason, as soon as I came to the United States, my hair turned curly. Question number three, any fun childhood memories? I think the one that I just told you about my grandmother, it's not so much fun, but um, yeah, I think that it's something I'll always remember of my grandmother uh, brushing, well, combing my hair with a white tooth comb and her suffering so much and me crying because it hurt. But it is one of the memories, the fondest memories that I have with my grandmother. <laughs> have you ever had a hair disaster? Yes. Um, I remember one time I I chew gum, right? My mother, she would be like, no, no chewing gum before going to sleep. I remember I had a, a, a piece of gum and I hid it under, like, you know, under the covers, under the, under the pillow until my mom put me down to sleep, right? And I'm like, okay, now my mom is here, I'm gonna go to sleep, and um, I'm just gonna chew a little bit of gum, and I'm gonna throw it out, and I'm gonna go to sleep. Although that wasn't allowed. So I did that, I, I chewed gum. <laughs> I chewed gum um, before going to sleep, and I forgot to throw it out. So when I woke up, my hair had gum all over it. It was not fun, it had gum all over. Oh my gosh. So my mom, she had to cut my hair and that's one of the hair disasters that I can remember. Um, having my hair cut because I didn't listen to my mom and I chewed gum before going to bed. Not good. Question number four. Have you ever colored your hair? And if yes, when? I've never colored my hair. This is my natural hair color. Um, just dark brown, almost, you know, there are times that it looks really dark brown, there are other times it look black, so I would say it's like a dark brown, really, really dark brown. Have you made peace with your hair? Um, for the most part, yes, but 
like I said yesterday I just went a little crazy and I went to a hair salon and I told the lady just cut my hair um, <laughs> there are times that I get tired of having long hair so I really want to cut it and I just go to the hair salon and I do just that but um, I really want to try the pixie cut I know maybe it won't look so great because my hair is curly but I really want to try it so maybe I'll do it until I get that done I don't think I have made peace with my hair your um, top three must have hair products you can't live without um, I think my number one would have to be a blow dryer I I love my blow dryer well a blow dryer because being that my hair is curly I could have it straight or curly or wavy so I, 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 I have to have a blow dryer um, number two would probably have to be um, coconut oil I love having coconut oil because it leaves my hair so much softer and shiny and it's just coconut oil does the hair good trust me <laughs> and number three would probably have to be your hair so probably shampoo <laughs> what's your go-to hairstyle my go-to hairstyle would probably have to be just my hair down and curly um that's that's how i wear my hair for the most part your favorite hair tips um use coconut oil i love coconut oil and that's like my number one tip it does your hair so like it's it does wonders for your hair and what's your hair idol my hair idol. Hmm. Okay, I really, really love Pocahontas hair. She has this long, flowy, dark hair. It's just beautiful. But being that Pocahontas is a fictional character, um, <laughs> I would have to say, from real life, uh, uh, an actual person would probably be Rihanna. I mean, even though I know that it's not her actual real hair, she has, you know, she puts on um, extensions and all these things. But I really love her hairstyles. It's like every time I go through her Instagram or whatnot, I see that she has different hairstyles. She rocks it so well. Like she could rock, you know, she could wear down curly hair or shave to the side or red hair or a pixie cut. That's actually why I wanted a pixie cut because I saw Rihanna's pixie cut and I actually want to try it for myself. So that's why I want a pixie cut, but that's besides the point. But yeah, so um, Rihanna would have to be my hair idol. She can rock anything. Like, she's gorgeous and her hair is just amazing. So I would have to say Rihanna. What do you love about your hair? Um, I love my hair. I actually love the fact that it's it grows really fast. That's probably one of the, the, the things that I love most about my hair, that it grows really fast. Um, but also it would have to be that it's curly and I could actually have it straight if I wanted to um, or I could have it curly I could have it wavy you know it's very I'm very it's really dark and it's, it's thick so I'm able to play a lot with it so that's what I love about my hair it's I think that's it with the questions yep that's it no more questions so I hope you guys like this video um, I hope you guys like my hairstyle too I mean it's it's I wanted to try something new. I've never had it like layers like this, so we'll see. Um, I'll probably make a video when it's curly. Well, most likely I'll make a video when it's curly. <laughs> Leave me a comment for whatever you want to see and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. And don't forget to like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!